Hey you guys, welcome back to the channel. It's Lakia Renee here and welcome back to vlog, uh, moving vlog number two. I just thought I'd pop in here. Um, as I was editing the vlog, I realized it was really, really choppy just because I was really upset when I was recording. So like for a period of time, I wasn't recording. I was just in like go mode, trying to figure out what my next move was going to be. Um, so I'm just going to go over like what happened. So the morning of the final move, which was me paying for movers to move, um, I get a text at 7.30 in the morning and it says time reconfirmed to 10 a.m. Now, that's, and it says reconfirmed to 10 a.m. So I'm like, mm, what does that mean? And so I'm like, are they rescheduling or are they reconfirming that the time is 10 a.m.? because the time was not set for 10 a.m. It was set for 9 a.m. So I sent the message back saying, um, hello, good morning. Are you reconfirming the time that it was 10 a.m. because the time was actually 9 a.m. or are you rescheduling it to 10 a.m. because you're not able to get here? They were like, uh, they didn't respond instantly, but I could tell like the person that was texting me this time was not the same person that was texting when I text the first time. Anyways, so that was where it first started off. So I'm like, all right, blood pressure is already elevated. I'm kind of stressing like, oh, they about to say that they're not coming and now I'm gonna have to find someone at the last minute. So basically I um, then was like, okay, you know, so you'll be here at 10 a.m. And they were like, yeah what's the location, send the location. And I'm like, I've already sent the location. When I confirmed the appointment the first time, I contacted the person, um, I, I actually called and I said, hey, you know, I'm interested in using your company for my move. He said, how many rooms? I said, it's a one bedroom apartment. He said, where are you located? I told him the address. He said, oh, okay. He was like, you know, any heavy items? I was like, no, you know, just, I have two small dressers, the bed, everything is broken down already, um, you know, simple, lightweight stuff. Everything that's been my apartment, I physically moved myself as a woman, you know, not a big woman. Um, you know, I just feel like can, uh, two men can move easily if I can move it by myself. So anyways, I confirmed that with him. He was like, okay. He said, send me um, all that we talked about, your name, your address, the location of pickup, and I'm going to reconfirm it with you, and then I'll send you, you know, the information with the quote and stuff. So we did that. He did exactly that. He sent me the quote. He sent me confirmation. I said, okay. He said, what's the deposit amount? And then he said he needed it through uh, Cash App. So I'm like, okay. Um... I said, all right, fine. So I paid the deposit. I said, okay, deposit sent, blah, 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 blah. He was like, confirmed, you know, nice working with you. I will see you on said date. Fast forward, obviously, the day of the date is they're changing the time. So I'm like, okay, fine. I plan to, to take the whole day to move anyway. I just was trying to get an early start. So because my apartment that I was living in is an hour and like 10 minutes away. So then he, you know, after I reconfirmed with the time at 10 o'clock, they were like, uh, send the location. So even though I had already sent it, I resent it. The person that was on the text message sends the message back and says, um, said, oh, your location is 84 miles from our location. We're in Atlanta. And I'm like, I know. That's why I picked some place in Atlanta because I'm coming from, so you, so that you would end up back where you started. I didn't want to get somebody that was from Northwest Georgia that's got to come from Northwest Georgia, drive all the way to Atlanta, then drive all the way back to Northwest Georgia. If you came to Northwest Georgia, you would drive back to your location, right? And then it would be, you already would go in that direction. You know what I'm saying? Because I didn't want to have to pay for your transport because you're already going home. You already have to go that way. 
So he's like, yeah, it's 84 miles out. So we'll be at, we'll, we, we'll, yeah, she kept saying it's 84 miles out. I'm like, 84 miles from your location. It's not 84 miles from where you're going for the drop off. But that's neither here nor there. So I was just like, okay, so 10 o'clock, right? Because it, it was sounding like he was like, oh, this is out of our, our way. We're not doing it. And I'm like, your website says you do long distance move. So if I was moving out of state, like what would be the difference? Like you're staying local. I don't understand. And then, I, like I said, I've already confirmed. So I'm like, I don't even understand how you don't know what y'all already signed up for. So anyways... He sends me a message and was like, um, I'm going to send a third man because I don't, I don't know what we're going to be moving. And I'm like, you're moving a one bedroom apartment. It's already said that it's a one bedroom apartment. I've already talked to a person about the contents in the apartment. Is a lightweight couch. I moved this couch all over. I've already moved this couch from here to the sunroom, then back, okay? Because I wanted to see position and stuff like that. And if I want to, I could move it again. It's not, and it took me one person. So I'm like, I don't, I don't. And when they got here, I had already stacked both uh, couches on top of each other. That's how light they are. But anyways, so he's like, I don't know what we're gonna be moving. So I text back and was like, you're moving a one bedroom apartment. There is a sofa and a love seat. There is a mattress and a box spring. You know, simple stuff. I've moved these items myself. I only need two men. I don't need a third man because the third man is like an extra person per hour that you have to pay. And it's a one bedroom apartment. Like, when do you ever get three people for one bedroom? So I was like, I, that's not what I discussed. I didn't discuss two men, I mean, three men. And then he was like, oh, and an extra $40 for gas. <sighs> We're not doing that. So at that point, I texted him back and I said, this is a one bedroom apartment, only requires two people. Um, third, a third person is um, not necessary. Um, and I already been quoted for what the contents of the apartment is. I'm not, you know, I was like, so, you know, that's not necessary. So I didn't, so I sent that message. He sends me back a message and says, you won't be charged for the extra man. So I saw the message and I said, you're pissed. Like in my head, I'm like, he's pissing me off. Like, don't piss me off. So I started typing <laughs> and then I deleted it. And I started typing again and I deleted it again. And then I got to a point where I was like, fuck them. It is what it is. Like, I'm not using y'all no more. Like y'all, you're doing too much back and forth. You're supposed to have been here at nine o'clock. It's anyway, um, so I just stopped texting and I had to cool down. And then, um, so I just sat there and then I thought to myself, like, I don't know what I'm gonna do. I kind of spiraled down. Um, I said to myself, I, I looked online to see if um, I could get a U Haul truck. Um, I ended up finding a pin, pin sake, I think it's called, truck. Um, and I was going to be able, and they only, they only do rentals for 24 hour periods. So I was like, that's perfect. Cause I can get the whole rental truck, um, for 24 hours. Um, and you know, bang it out. My friend said that if I paid her son a little bit of money or whatever, he was willing to help. So he was actually looking forward to getting paid. So I was like, fine, I'll let him do it. I just didn't want to have to physically help because I had already been moving stuff and I was tired. My back is hurting. My side is hurting. I've just, I wasn't in the mood to be moving stuff. I wanted to pay somebody so that I could save my energy and my body, right? So I ended up calling my uh, friend, you know, I told her like, hey, I found the mover, moving truck. It was like 158 and um, I was able to get like a, it was like 180 something and I was able to get a discount that brought it down to 158 and that was with tax included um, to have the truck for three days. So that was bomb as hell. Like I, didn't, I knew I didn't need it for three days, but I was thinking like, hey, I could transport some furniture if I don't like the way it looks. I could take it to the dump. I could do whatever I wanted to do. So anyways, I had that set up. Then I said, you know what, let me go even further and call one of the people that I spoke to before. Their rate was a little higher, 
but I was going to use them because they seem more professional. So I called him, well, I texted him. I'm like, hey, we, you know, I wanted to use you for my move. We spoke earlier. He's like, yeah. So he called. He was like, what happened? Because obviously it's early. So he's like, this is weird. I just told him like, hey, I decided to go with someone else. They basically, you know, try to change stuff at the last minute. Um, and basically we're not going with them. I just feel like they're not legit and I don't want to go with them, right? So meanwhile, remember I said, I did never text them back after he said that because he was sending, he was going back and forth and I just stopped texting because I'm like, now this is, this is like 8.45 a.m. So they never text back and said, hey, do you still want us to come, blah, 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 nothing. 8.45, I stopped texting, he stopped texting. So my friend's like, hey, maybe you should contact them um, just so they don't just show up. And I'm like, it's 8.45 they're not coming till 10. If I don't hear from them by then, then I know they got the gist, right? No. Mm -mm. So I'm on the phone with my friend. We're chopping it up, trying to figure out the situation. We already like started to plan everything out. I look at my clock. Um, it's like after 10 o'clock at this point. It's like 10, 15, 10, 20. So I'm like, okay, yeah, I'm about to go down there at 10.30. I was like, at 10.30, I'm leaving. I'm going to go get the truck, right? So I go, you know, start getting dressed. And I'm already dressed at this point. I started getting dressed. I don't have my shoes on, but I started getting dressed. And I started getting my bag to the front. As I'm on the phone, I hear somebody boom, 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 banging on the door. And I'm like, who's knocking on the door? My Now it's almost 10.30. I go to the door and I look through the peephole and I'm like, girl, it's a man. It's these motherfucking movers. They just showed up. He didn't confirm nothing. He didn't do nothing. He just showed up because he already knew I was pissed off. And then he sh So he shows up. I open the door. I don't say nothing. Pew. Open the door. Standing there. He's standing there. Silence. He's like, oh, uh, you came to do the move? Oh, y'all came to do the move after we didn't talk since 8.45 a.m. Y'all came to do the move. Okay. So I give it, I told my friend, I'm like, you know what? The movers are here. I'm going to get off the phone. Because I was about to go all the way off, right? So he goes back downstairs, and then the guy comes, and he's like, oh, can I, um, you mind if I come in and, like, see, like, what we're, what we're dealing with? And I'm like, Sure. Come in see it so he walks in and he's like oh okay he's like oh okay this is cool he's like oh you you're very organized because i had everything stacked up everything placed everything in the living room majority of the stuff had already been pulled to the living room that's how i'm like y'all playing games talking about three people i didn't move all this stuff to the living room for y'all i already have yeah i didn't have to go in the back nothing only thing i had to go to the back for is for the bed and that's because i slept in it last night so anyways they start moving the stuff man when i tell you all i'm hearing is boom 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 they they banging my shit up like down the stairs and bang 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 and i'm just like so them banging the stuff happened so often i was able to whip the camera out and catch him as he was doing it it happened so many times but like this is nothing compared to like when someone's banging your tv Anyways, and he smelled like liquor, like strong liquor. What did I get myself into? Now, rule number one, this is where I fucked up. First of all, I should have texted them back, so that's on me. That's the only reason why I let them do it is because I did not text them back. But I know they just showed up because they didn't want to lose the money. That's what it was. They didn't want to lose the money, and they probably would have pissed the other guy off that was like in charge of everything because they knew they was talking fucking crazy right so anyways that was on me rule number two i was alone okay there's three men here and i'm alone so uh tip to pro tip is make sure you have somebody there because you never know especially when you finding these people in atlanta atlanta is the hand uh the home of the scammers um Everybody is a, is an entrepreneur. They all got these like businesses. Um, 
you know, moving businesses or whatever that, you know, are not really re legit, probably not bonded, um, say that, you know, start off professional and end up acting ghetto as hell. So anyways, they start moving the stuff. I'm like, okay, let me look and see what kind of truck they got, right? No truck. It says they were going to use a truck. He showed up with a white church man and a trailer, like what you would use, like, I guess like a lawn like type trailer or maybe like a trailer that you might use for like horses or whatever like you know like a enclosed trailer attached to the back and I'll insert a picture um so anyways they start moving the stuff they're banging the stuff up um after they put everything in you know they're like oh I you know I offered them some water um, you know, I'm being kind, you know, um, some stuff that I had already in the apartment. I was like, no, don't worry about that. I'll move it myself. I just want y'all to move the big stuff. That is the most important thing. And then the guy kept insisting on trying to see other stuff. And I'm like, no, just move the stuff that I asked you to move. I don't need you to help me with the kitchen. I am going to do that. Do the stuff that you need to do. And, um, they were just super unprofessional. The one guy, it was two guys that were doing most of the work. The other guy just stood around outside. I don't know what he was doing. He was making phone calls or whatever. Maybe he was in charge. He was the boss or whatever. But I don't. if, if I'm going to pay for three people, three people are going to be moving. Not one person supervisor and two people moving because that's two people moving. So homeboy was outside handling his business. And then it was this older gentleman that um, kept harassing me the whole entire time. I think I paid for like five hours of time. And I kid you not, from the time he walked in the door, he was harassing me. He was like, oh, you single? You got a man? And I'm like, okay, like, how do we get here? I thought we were moving. Um, and every time he came in, he said something. I done found out he from New Orleans. They asked me what I do for work. If I got a man, I said, yeah, I talked to someone, you know, regardless of whether they live here in the state, whether they're down the road, whether they're at work or whatever, I talked to someone and it's not you. And that should have been the end of it. No, it wasn't. He just kept going and going and going. Oh, if, if you need me, I could buy a ring for you right now. I could put a ring on your finger right now. What you want me to do? What you eat? What you like to eat? Where you like to go? I'm like, sir. Like, and this is like, he'll come in, say something, take something, go back out. Boom, boom, boom. Banging it up on the way out. Come back. Hey, hey. Oh, and I'm just like. I just want you to move the stuff. Please move the stuff. The other guy, he would ask like here and there or whatever. Like he just was like being super nosy. Like, oh, okay, this is nice. Oh, okay. To the point where like when we got to the new place to move the stuff in, I, um, I'm in a two bedroom. I closed the second room because I didn't want them to see that it was two rooms just because I just, it was weird, right? So the whole time they're moving stuff in, I'm directing them once we got here to move stuff in. The guy's like, oh, this is a perfect location. This is an easy move and you know, because you could just go right up the stairs and it's right there. And I'm like, yeah, it is. And um, he was moving the stuff in and he's like, oh, this is nice. This is nice, right? So dude comes in. They keep asking me questions. And then he kept saying, put my number in your phone. Put my number in your phone. I'm like, no. And then I got to the point where I was like, okay. If I tell him to write the number down, right, he'll stop. No. And I'm not even lying. Look, look. All right. So I can't, I don't see it. I have a, a, a notepad that I use um, and it was right up there. I can't find it right now. I don't want to be off the camera too long. Um, but yeah, there was a notepad. I had him write his, I, I'll enter a picture real quick, real quick. So y'all don't see his number or whatever, but I'll like insert a picture of it. Um, but yeah, I had him write his number down just to say like, okay, you gave me the number, calm down. So he writes his number on the pad, but doesn't stop. Continues every time he comes in, continues coming. And again, and again, to the point where I was like, I text my friend, I'm like, hey girl, what you doing? Are you done? Cause she was handling some stuff for her son. So I'm like, can you, can you come over here because I need somebody other than me. 
so that they will stop saying stuff like stop asking me questions stop just move the stuff and then they were like oh you want me to put stuff away oh let me um, unbox this no we're not unboxing the shit put the stuff away and get the on like he was like oh we're we're we only putting the chairs over here because we're gonna put the rug down we're not putting no rug down sir you ain't gonna be that long and i'm about to eat up all this time put stuff away i don't even know where i want stuff to go so anyways that was that uh, and, and it's like to be movers i would think y'all would be more versed but obviously they're not because they're like local guys just moving stuff they're not movers they're moving stuff going to people's houses moving stuff not movers with skilled technicians um knowing how to lift stuff knowing that you don't be banging stuff back and forth trying to get into people's apartments and stuff like that and i'm gonna show y'all a video of him walking in here and banging stuff because it was to the point where he was banging stuff so bad i videoed him because i was like i promise you when he walk in he gonna bang it again and i'm gonna catch it on camera and i did that's how bad it was i could pretty much be sure that he was gonna bang some stuff on his way in My bad. And so, anyways, they were, like, trying to put the bed up. And I'm like, I don't even have all the screws because I took everything apart and I put everything in my toolbox. But I left the toolbox at the house because I needed to spackle the walls. I needed to sand the walls back down or whatever because I was trying to leave it in a, in a way that they wasn't going to try to charge me. And so, I like to keep all my stuff together. I wasn't planning on putting everything together because I was even considering getting a new bed. So, I didn't really want to put it together and I would never pay the movers to put together like that type of bed like I could see if it was like some extensive bed where like it would take like hours to put up or whatever or maybe if it was a brand new bed but not a bed frame like one of those metal slate ones you just put together insert another picture matter of fact I'm gonna insert a picture of them struggling to put that up and that's why I was like, no, because I was at first, I was like, ah, oh, okay, they could do the bed, it's going to be quick. They could not figure it out. They were sitting there for like 20 minutes trying to figure it out. And then it just got to a point where I was like, okay, you know, it's fine, it's fine. And he was like, yeah, he was like, well, maybe we could tape it. And I'm like, who's sleeping on a bed that's taped together? Like, he's like, yeah, no, we can tape it. And the guy's like, nah, you can't tape it. And they arguing, going back and forth or whatever. And eventually they had stopped and was like, okay, we'll come back to this later. Because it was like 20 minutes and they hadn't been doing no moving. They was just in there arguing about putting the slate together. And I will insert that part. Because I'm just standing there like, um yeah so yeah it was it was bad the moving situation was bad i will never ever go online and find no low budget movers again i will definitely only speak with these people shoot hell i might want to meet them i want to see the truck that y'all gonna do because the people said they had a truck in the pictures they had a truck but then they showed up with a trailer so i'm like i don't understand you know um and they got done so quick and that was another thing like they got done quick and then they wanted to waste time. And I'm like, nah, um, I'm already paying you per hour. And I know you're not going to be like, oh, this is a half an hour. So we're going to split it. You're going to want to get paid for the full hour. So I'm not paying you. The guy was like, oh, I'm hungry. I'm hungry. I didn't eat. You should have ate before you came. You, you was already an hour and 30 minutes late. Like you could have ate. And then after they was done, it was like for the, it was like the fee was for the first three hours. It was this fee. And then it was per hour after that. And they got done within less than two hours. So I still had like a whole hour and 20 minutes. And I'm like, okay, well, let's go then. Cause this is an hour and 10 minute ride. So I'm gonna be within that. So my time frame, as far as like manual labor where y'all gotta move stuff would be starting once you got to the apartment. So I, and I, it only took you an hour and a half to load this stuff. So yeah, I would be at that cutoff. And I honestly paid them full for the for the cutoff. I paid them for the extra man that I shouldn't have paid for and charged for the gas. And I did not give them a tip because of that. And I and I, and I don't care. You know, y'all lucky y'all got what y'all got because I shouldn't have had to pay for an extra person when in the text it said I did not have to pay for it. I did not 
get quoted for that. You know, and y'all had a whole period of time where I let them, you know, they went and they got gas and they got food at the gas station. They was just sitting there standing around and I followed them and the guy kept saying, oh, you just go and then meet us there. No, I'm not going to have y'all burning up time and I'm sitting here for hours and you lying and saying you were traffic when y'all really at McDonald's eating. No, we're not doing that. And I, I was like, no, I'll be right there. He kept saying, oh, well, it's going to take us a while because we're carrying a trailer. I see people driving trailers all the time. Shit, I be seeing semi trucks whipping it. A full semi truck whipping it. I know you can whip it in that. Nobody told you to bring your church trailer and, um, you know, the thing attached to the back and now you got to drive slow. Like, that's not my problem when you advertise that you had a truck. But, um, yeah, that was my moving saga. I ended up just saying, I'm going to just tell y'all about it because... It's just like, it was no way that I could like literally capture all the moments of it. But um, we're going to get into this moving vlog and I will show y'all um, what I did on the closing day. It wasn't really much. And yeah, I think this is going to wrap up the moving series because Vlogmas is starting on the first and this is the 30th when i had to give him my keys and therefore um you know we're gonna be moving forward um vlogmas is definitely gonna involve moving stuff so y'all will get more moving stuff in that way but it'll have christmas stuff in it as well so i will see y'all in the next video i'm gonna run the clips from moving day and then that'll be that Hey you guys, welcome back to the vlog. It's moving vlog number two. I'm not sure if there's going to be more moving vlogs because vlogmas starts tomorrow and I'm not entirely sure if I'm participating. However, I just wanted to put that out there. Anyways, good morning, good morning. It is morning time. I think it's about nine o'clock. Um, I'm about to go hand in the keys. I am currently in the new apartment. Um, not all the way settled in, but I do have some stuff together currently on the couch. My couches are too big for this space, so we're going to make it work. But yeah, that's how they looking right now. Anyways, we're about to get in the car and head to, um, Northwest Georgia back to the old apartment. Um, I have to, like I said, hand in my keys and, um do some last minute things before I hand in the keys. And then also I need to talk to my mechanic. Um, the mechanic that I was using um, while I was staying in that apartment um, is about two miles, three miles down. And so um, I may have to put my other car in the shop. So I just wanna talk to him about that cause I won't be like close by to come and pick it up. And if I do drop it off, it may have to sit for a little bit it, once he like fixes it. <clears throat> So anyways, that is what is on the agenda today. Pretty much um, last little bits as far as like closing out the old apartment and then getting a few things that we need for the new apartment. Um, I want to start on the pantry um, and also uh, the office. So I think I'm gonna start in the kitchen and then work my way towards the back, um, my bedroom is pretty much like put together because like I, I moved all my stuff from my old apartment so all the stuff from my old apartment is pretty much back where it was before. Um, <clears throat> I may do like some new additions just to freshen up the space so it doesn't seem like everything is the same. But um, yeah, that is what is on the agenda today. So let me get up and get ready to go and I'll see y'all back at the new apartment, well at the old apartment. Hey you guys, I made it back to the apartment. I'm about to vacuum these little bits of dirt and go over this floor real quick and then go give these people their keys back. Um, so that's what I'm about to set y'all up and watch me do. And then after that, I'm gonna try to jump my car, see if it starts. If not, then I gotta call a locksmith and then before we get on the highway, I'll drop the keys off cause the leasing office is down the road. Keep me 
outside sitting in my Jeep. Um, I'm about to try to jump my car and then um, let it run for a little bit and see if I can get it started with this key. And I'll show y'all. I have a key for my car and it snapped off like this. <laughs> so I'm about to see. I need to call a locksmith, but um, if the battery is dead, I don't want to have to have that extra. I don't want to call them unless I know, like, I could at least get the car started because I don't think they can program the car if the battery is dead. I'm not entirely sure. Anyways, that's what I'm about to try to do. Um, so I'm going to set y'all up and hopefully, I don't have a tripod, so hopefully y'all could see what I'm doing. y'all so i'm in my car i got my fob i'm about to see if i can get the car started the car is currently attached to the other car and it's running let's see if it'll start Okay, so it is about 15 minutes later. I'm still sitting in the car. I've called two locksmiths. One of them said it's going to be 300. The other one said he was going to do it for 225. So I'm going with the 225 to save myself $75. Um, so he said he would call me back in about five minutes. Um, he has to check and make sure he has my key, um, the type of key that I have for my car. Um, I didn't plan on spending my whole entire day sitting out here waiting, but I mean, things got to get done. So it is what it is. Um, I'm about to call my mom. She's back in the hospital. So I got to call and see what's going on with her. Um, so I'm not doing anything while I wait. So let's see what she's doing. I'm not going to call her on camera. I'm just going to call and I'll be back. Alright guys, I got the keys right here. I'm about to turn the keys in and see if they need to do a walkthrough um, for the apartment. And then I'm still waiting for the locksmith to call me back. So I'm, I'm gonna, um, I don't know, I guess I'm just gonna drive around for a little bit until I hear from them. I'll give them a little bit more time and then I'm gonna call somebody else. <laughs> I just think, hold on for a second. So, I don't know if y'all heard that, but I just got out the car, went inside, and handed in my keys, right? So, that's the same lady that we were going toe-to-toe -to -toe about the leaking in the apartment. Partially the reason why I moved is because I'm isolated. I'm out here in the country. Um, management wasn't doing what they were needed to do to take care of the apartment. I had like a water leak in the roof for like the whole time I lived there for a year and a half. And like when I asked or complained about it, like they would give me so much flack and I'm like, 
you guys act like I'm like the worst person ever. Like I've never paid my rent late. I don't complain about nothing. I keep this place clean. Like I just don't understand. And then she was like, well, if you don't like it, you sound like you're never happy. And if you don't like it, then you need to move. And I was like, well, how many days do I need to give notice? And she was like, you need to give 60 day notice, but I'll take 30. Like basically like, bitch, get the hell out. And I was like, oh, they talking to me nasty. I said, I'm going out of here. And so I went and I looked for another apartment. And so I found it and now she's like oh I'm not worried about you and blah da 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 and I wish more tenants were like you and I'm just like you could have had a good tenant but y'all be playing games like they're mean as hell and now y'all all sad and shit because somebody wants to move yeah well that's not my problem <laughs> let's go let's just get away don't keep me waiting